but it's been a great experience. I mean, the crew is wonderful. Uh, the talent is just phenomenal. And it's a brilliant script, and I think it's going to be an incredible project. What are you filming for? It's for the uh, behind the scenes. Behind the scenes. In uh, the late summer, early fall of 1999, uh, Rob, my partner, and I uh, started a company in Canada. Uh, we had been Aftermath in, uh, in Oregon and had been working out of Oregon since 1993. Um, we started a new company in Vancouver called Digital Circus. Um, did some new things. Uh, very, very interested in um, in digital film, and uh, so we decided, uh, having shot 35 millimeter on our last project, that we would shoot with uh, a digital camera this time. The great advantage was its um, its um, sensitivity to light uh, was really tremendous. We were able to shoot huge night scenes with with uh, virtually no lighting. And uh, that was really an agenda for me. I really wanted to use as little light as possible. I wanted to shoot fast. I wanted to move through this production quickly. Um, we shot uh, Tender Loving Care in 31 days and had virtually the same amount of uh, footage as we now have, which we shot in 12 days. As opposed to uh, the type of interactivity where you have choices, you can choose where a character goes or how a character behaves. Um, our stuff was a little more uh, subtle than that. Uh, the, the viewer uh, simply responds to the character, responds to the story. And, uh, and the viewer's responses are logged by the computer or in the case of the DVD player, just by the, uh, the whatever memory there is in the DVD player. And, uh, and the story unfolds uh, with the uh, influence by the by the uh, viewers' choices. Since we were shooting in Vancouver, um, there's a, Vancouver is a real hotbed of filmmaking these days. Uh, there are lots and lots of actors and, and cast uh, possibilities here. So, uh, among the uh, very first uh, people that auditioned. Uh, was uh, Stephanie Von Fetten. It was so good, her performance were without any direction um, and uh, without anything further, without any further auditions of any kind, uh, just made the decision that uh, she was the person that was right for the role. And um, uh, So Stephanie was, was just right uh, and uh, what we did from there was uh, we cast around her and so we started auditioning uh, people to play the male lead. Uh, Chris Bradford um, uh, came in to read, and uh, and he was he was perfect. He seemed perfect for the role. Um, they were uh, relatively unknown, although they're both uh, fairly experienced with uh, doing television work and some film work here in Vancouver. Um, but uh, neither had uh, actually done uh, lead roles in a large project like this. Basically, they have to carry the movie, and they they shouldered that responsibility extremely well. Your goddess. Now listen. I haven't been able to think of anything but you since the moment we met. Get it? <laughs> <laughs> okay, the, he's got a hold of her leg at this point. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Paul Jarrett plays P, the, uh, the man who goes by initial P, who is the, um, the suspicious character throughout the, uh, the film and a uh, very versatile, chameleon-like uh, actor. And uh, I inquired as to whether Paul was in town. Um, he was, we got a script to him. He called me up, we had a cup of coffee, and he was cast without auditioning at all. And he was a great actor, he uh, uh, was, was perfect casting. He's the type of person that I always thought of to play that role. The uh, casting uh, for Lieutenant Edwards, uh, which is Christopher Shire, um, was uh, a little bit um, serendipitous. Um, he actually came in to read uh, with uh, Stephanie um, 
for the role of Frank, and uh, he was terrific, and he was really good, and it was a hard decision. Um, the we finally um, chose to go with uh, Christopher Bradford instead of uh, Christopher Shire simply because the matchup was uh, seemed to be better for as a couple, but. Um, uh, it was actually quite a struggle because uh, Christopher Shire was, was an excellent actor and uh, it just, w without even thinking in, in terms of having him audition further, uh, we cast him as uh, Lieutenant Edwards. For the role of Barnes, <clears throat> I, um, I ended up uh, again uh, casting someone I had worked with before, um, Larry Musser. Uh, he is a uh, um, again, a very versatile type of actor, and uh, we ended up uh, casting him in this role, which at the beginning was very small, but we expanded it as we were developing uh, the program, and uh, as the script uh, expanded, and we knew we had a good actor who could carry all that stuff, so he ended up uh, actually doing way more work than we were originally intended. <laughs> Because the, uh, the lead role, Jane, is uh, uh, that of a former model, <clears throat> uh, we um, did look at uh, uh, several uh, modeling agencies. Uh, among the, uh, the tapes that came in, we, uh, it was Samantha Crew, and uh, uh, she was very, very good. And uh, so what we ended up doing was uh, offering her the role of uh, Carol, which is, uh, uh, we needed someone actually who looked something like uh, Jane, and uh, that all came together. She did a great job. This is the bomb. We're going to mount a camera inside of this and throw it off the side of the building. My career depends on this working. It looks fast. Chris, what are they doing to you? What is she doing to you? They're cooking a big uh, pot of fries in the of stove. <laughs> I'm going to be the serving tray. Can you do me a favor, sweetie? So you can get it. Can I go down? Um, virtually every uh, movie experience is a, is, a, is a bonding experience for the people who work on it. Um, it's, uh, it has partly to do with the intensity of the work. Uh, it's it's uh, um, all encompassing for uh, a certain amount of time, whatever the number of days of shoot and preparation, etc. And uh, yeah, people, uh, more than in other aspects of their life, uh, lives, uh, become uh, very close very quickly. Um, and uh, it's usually um, a lot of fun. And um, uh, this was no exception. Um, again, because of our uh, the the style with which we made the film, the crew was smaller than I'm used to working with, um, and uh, I think that kind of intensified that experience. Instead I said, I love the cast and crew on this show. I've never been this tight with a group of people since the mass unit I served with in Korea. Well, except for this guy. We were a little too tight. I think. Yeah, we, we were in Korea together. I, I was actually not with the mass unit. I was uh, with uh, the infantry. 
and if it hadn't been for uh, Paul Garrison, I'd, I'd be dead today. What happened was he stepped on a landmine. We had to perform an emergency sex change operation on him. He was actually a nurse. My name used to be Charlene. Charlize Theron used to be. Mm -hmm. You know why? Because there was a fine group of people there, and that makes a hell of a difference. Are you listening? That makes a hell of a difference. It really does. And it was a good script, and we had fun. It was great. It was it was the best experience I've ever had. It, it really was. And um, get in here. Come on in. It was great. It was great. <laughs> He doesn't like interviews. <laughs> Just to 